Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Smash JT, and in the world of I can't make this crap up, the guy who is leaking Kingdom Hearts 3 apparently has ties to the mob. Smash JT. For those of you who aren't familiar, Kingdom Hearts 3 was reportedly leaked out early and copies have been surfacing online, people have been playing through the game, and they're posting what they think about it and showing off spoilers of the game and things that happened during it. And oh by the way, the game doesn't come out for another month and a half. This is one of the earliest leaks of a game that I at least can recall in recent memory ever happening. Games don't ever leak a month and a half in advance, but Square Enix themselves have confirmed that this game has gone gold, meaning that copies have been printed and put at shipping facilities ready to go out to people who are buying the game. The problem comes in with this guy who's selling copies of Kingdom Hearts 3 apparently worked at that shipping facility or knew somebody who worked at that shipping facility. One way or another, he got his hands on at least 30 copies of this game. And something that's just hysterical over everything else is that he's selling these copies of Kingdom Hearts 3, legit official copies, through Facebook, through the marketplace, where, you know, you have your own public profile that's connected to it. So every time he was posting saying, I have these, people could see who it was that was selling them. <laughs> this is up there with the wet bandits from Hall Below. Like, honestly, this is the most moronic kind of criminal you could find. Somebody who doesn't even bother trying to hide their identity and openly admits to stealing these games and then reselling them knowing that he's breaking street dates and they're stolen. And the information regarding the Facebook Marketplace sales has become public enough for Facebook themselves to address it and remove them. They took them down, but he was selling these and at least 10 confirmed sales in the North Carolina area and videos of Kingdom Hearts 3 are popping up everywhere online right now, which is, I'll be honest, removing myself from this news story just saying, from Square Enix perspective, it really sucks. I mean, these people put so much time and effort and work into this game just to see some moron steal these and then sell them early and have other people posting videos of it online. It's just, it's a big cluster bleep right now and it's an awful situation. It's gonna be hard for people to avoid spoilers even though, let's be honest, the Kingdom Hearts storyline itself is really hard to follow in the first place. But even still, just seeing things that unfold or images that could potentially ruin the game a month and a half before it comes out is a terrible situation for everybody. And I can't believe this guy who's got ties to the mob, supposedly, and openly admits that on his Facebook profile, openly admits to stealing money from his own grandmother. This guy is scum of the earth type material. Doesn't give a crap about the game, even when he's showing it off. He's just like, I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't get what's going on, but here, I got the game. If you want to buy it, come meet me and I'll sell it to you for $100. All you worry about is the fucking song. Go buy the album. Wait till the album come out. Buy the song then. Which is another question. You're selling a game that goes for $60 retail, a month and a half early, you're legitimately putting yourself at risk, well, more than that, for a lot of criminal charges, breaking the street date, selling stolen goods, selling something that's not available to public yet. There's so many different crimes being committed here that you're selling on your public Facebook profile. Like, what? What goes through the minds of some of these people? Why would you not sell it through Craigslist and make up an email, at least try to hide the idea that you're a criminal? You're like openly telling the world that you stole these. That is not a good look. And it's definitely gonna result in a lot of charges being brought against you once you get found out by local authorities, which judging by how this has progressed, won't take too much longer. But the story gets wilder as more information comes out. Initially, the guy was working at the packaging facility and then the post office area, the delivery area for them. Then he was tied to the mob and he had a guy on the inside working at that shipping facility. And then he was buying these copies of the games from him and then reselling them 
publicly at Facebook Marketplace and then meeting people in public and then showing videos online and posting them on a public profile, letting people know that he has this game and proving it to him by opening it up, showing the disc, putting it in the system, showing the intro, and then playing through the game for them. I can't make this stuff up even if I was trying to. This is absurd. It's hysterical. It's literally the funniest criminal activity story I've heard in a very long time. There's even a proof from someone on Reset Era that posted an image of someone who said, here's a warning about this guy back in August where the seller scammed an elderly woman out of nearly $700. Everything I've researched about this dude that's illegally selling stolen goods is scum of the earth type material, but the greater issue at hand here is the spoilers, is ruining the initial hype moment for the people that have been waiting 10 years for a proper sequel in the Kingdom Hearts series. This is really tragic for the people at Square Enix, for the big fans of the series, Hopefully nothing truly gets too ruined and the spoilers are hidden well enough, but at the end of the day, it's it's a tragic thing. It's unfortunate that there are people like this in the world to ruin the fun of others, but at least he was dumb about it and sure as hell he's gonna get caught. Anyways, that's the latest on the Kingdom Hearts 3 stolen game story and I'm sure it's gonna wrap up quite quickly based off of the information that's already been provided to local authorities. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this and as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.